everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chloe, and today I am back with another Zara try on haul. I am so excited to show you all of the pieces that I picked up for this try on haul. But before I get started and show you all the pieces that I picked up, please do not forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below, become a part of my family, and let's just get started with this try on haul. For this haul, I'm first going to start off with tops. I picked up a lot of cute basic tops that I I feel like will work well with a lot of different outfits. I love a good crop top or a cropped tank. I feel like you can throw them on, put some shorts on, a pair of jeans, and you can go out of the house. And these ones are so cute. I'm so excited to show you and see what they look like on. Zara just came out with these. They are brand new to their collection, and I love First of all, how they feel, and they look like a velvet top in person. The material is super nice and thick, but it also, I feel like, would be the perfect transitional top from day to night. So if I was out and about during the daytime but needed to go somewhere for dinner, I could definitely change this up and make it look dressy her, which is awesome. I love tops like this. Because I thought that that sandy nude top would be super cute, I decided that I wanted to get it in midnight blue. This is literally everything. So gorgeous. I think the color will really pop out my eyes when I wear it with a pair of jeans or a skirt, and I really just love it. And I couldn't just stop. I couldn't just stop with the blue. I couldn't just stop with the blue. Last shade that I picked up in this top is a really pretty rosy pink color. I think this is an awesome transitional shade from summer to fall and I just really love it. There again, super cute, great to wear with so many different pieces and I just, I think it's gonna look so pretty. <laughs> When I saw this top came back in stock online, I knew that I just needed it in my life. It is this cropped high neckline ribbed top. It is absolutely gorgeous. The material is really nice and durable. I feel like I will get a lot of wears out of this and it's just a great basic top to have in your closet. The last top that I picked up is adorable and everything that I just wanted and more. It looks so much cuter in person than it did online. It is this pleated black top and I wanted it to have for a nice dinner top. I feel like I don't have a lot of fancier tops for dinner but I love wearing high rise jeans and I just knew that this was going to be the perfect combination so I decided to pick this one up. I'm so glad that I did and then for the hardware in the back it is a really nice silver zipper with this zipper on it. I love how it's different than a tr traditional zipper. It just adds more to the top. And I think for $20, this is a great purchase and the material is amazing. For shorts, I wanted to get just a traditional pair of jean shorts. These are a high rise short. I really love high rise shorts personally. I think they just look really flattering on anyone. And I love how these shorts have the frayed ends. I think that it just adds so much to a short. And I really hope that these look as like cute on and that they fit. I don't know. I guess we will see in the next clip. I really wanted to love these shorts and even though they do fit my waist really well, unfortunately my entire butt is hanging out and that is just not a cute situation so I'm not going to show you my butt hanging out of these shorts but I do think that the material of these shorts are really nice. They just unfortunately do not work for me, but you know what? That is okay. I'm just gonna continue my hunt for shorts and hopefully find a pair that work, but these are just not my friend. I knew that I couldn't just have a blue pair of shorts. I needed a white pair. I think white shorts are just such a good staple to have in a closet. And I love how these ones have the frayed ends again and it has a normal zipper. They're also high rise, which I love. So I'm super excited to see if they fit. I really hope that they do because I just feel that shorts are just one of those things that are super hard to find. These white shorts fit like a dream. They feel so nice on my waist, but unfortunately like the blue shorts, they do basically show my entire bottom, which is just not cute. So I will have to pass on these shorts as well. And which is unfortunate because they really do feel really nice. They feel like a good material on, but that's just not worth my butt hanging out in public. So I will have to pass on these. 
<laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> the last pair of shorts that I decided to pick up are these black shorts. They are, again, a high-rise short, and then they also have a little bit of a frayed end, not as much as the other two, but they still have it, so I'm super excited about that. And then these shorts are a button instead of a zipper, which I think is totally fine. Sometimes I find that having button shorts can be a little bit more difficult, but I think that these will be hopefully a keeper. <laughs> for these black shorts, I do not think they are the shorts for me. They are a little bit big in the back, but also since I do have a bigger butt and my butt is starting to come out of the shorts and I just don't really think that that is a cute look. I don't want to walk around and my butt is basically coming out. So I will say that these are not going to be my friend. I will not keep them, but I do think that they would look good on so many other people. I really love the fray and the material. It reminds me of a Levi short or a more expensive pair of shorts. So the quality and material are great. They just unfortunately do not fit my body. For pants, I got three pairs of pants. This first one I am so excited about and it's just gonna be so great. So I picked up these blue pants and I love the bottom because the bottom is a little bit, if I can get them up here, a little bit bigger. It like flares out and I think that these are so cute. It is a wide leg jean. They are all over Zara's website and I'm so excited to try it on. <laughs> These jeans are it. I'm so excited about these jeans. They fit so well. They fit in all the right places, super comfy, and I cannot wait to wear them in public. I love the bottom fit of them. They are awesome, and I just would highly recommend if you're looking for a wide leg jean that you check these out at Zara. Because I thought that the blue jeans were gonna be so cute, I knew that I wanted to get a white pair. However, they sent me the wrong size, so I won't be trying these on. They are the white wide leg pants, just like the blue ones, but they said that they sent me a sex and it was actually a size four and I cannot even get their size fours over my butt. So I know that this won't fit me, but I think that these would be really cute if they sent me the right size. The last pair of jeans that I picked up are definitely out of my comfort zone, but when I saw them, I knew that I just wanted to try them and see if maybe I would like them. They are these gray jeans, which I think are really nice color in person because they aren't too dark of a gray, but they're nice oh, light wash gray, which is awesome. And the bottom is also really nice. I like the cut of them. They are a slim fit cut, so I'm excited to see how these fit, if they work, and if I like them. For these gray jeans, I really wanted to love them, but unfortunately, they're really tight in my thighs, and it is bigger in the waist, so I feel like even if I went a size down, they just wouldn't fit properly, so I am going to have to pass on these, but they are super cute. I recently have had this new love and obsession with kitten heels, and when I saw these heels on the Zara website, I just knew that I needed to buy them, and they needed to be in my closet. I mean, how adorable are these? They have polka dots on the front, and they are black. I just find that these are a perfect, simple black kitten heel, but just have a little bit more to it. I love finding things like this because I just think they make the shoes look different than a normal black heel, so I cannot wait to pair these with an outfit and wear it out and about hopefully one day soon. That is all the items that I picked up from Zara. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this try on haul and seeing all of the items that I picked up. If you did enjoy today's try on haul, please do not forget to subscribe, hit that red button down below, like this video as well as share it with your friends. If you want to see more hauls like this one, please let me know down below and let me know what stores you want me to try out. And I hope that wherever you are, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, that you have or had an amazing day and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.